And as I mentioned earlier, there are some options with the auto secure command. The two biggies are forwarding and management. And as I discussed earlier, those will secure uh, just the forwarding plane or just the management plane. If you hit enter after typing auto secure, you will be securing both the forwarding and management plane. Uh, the other big one to be aware of is no interact. What that's going to do is if you issue auto secure no interact, you won't get the auto secure dialog. Um, basically, you'll issue that command. Cisco will go ahead and say, all right, you're telling me that I don't need any uh, input from you. Let me go ahead and turn off these features. So it, it does a configuration right away with no input from you. Uh, firewall full and all that stuff, that's going to be um, addressed in a different video. And depending on what code and platform you're running, you might not see these. But that's outside the scope of today's lesson. And here we go, we can see the uh, auto secure dialog. So on R2, we've issued the auto secure command with no options. So we're securing both the management and the forwarding plane. And it'll give you this um, dialog. And the reason I've got these highlighted here is as at any prompt you may enter question mark for help. Yeah, it doesn't give you a lot of information. It gives you what it's looking for. And we'll see that on the CLI, but it won't tell you, hey, this command is meant to blah, blah, blah. It's just saying, here's what I want from you uh, and what format I want it from. And then use control C to abort the session at any prompt. This is invaluable. Remember this, it's probably not going to be on the exam, but for real life, you're going to want to know this. And this is the same thing for the uh, initial configuration that comes up on um, Cisco devices with no configuration and I, I highlighted these because even though they're written there we're IT folks we don't like to read the fucking manual so we'll see this come up and we will just ignore it and get into answering the questions and maybe halfway through there find out that we really don't want to do this and then not know how to break out of it um, not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything and we'll run this on the CLI and you'll see all this again but you can see here this stuff in red this is where the iOS is actually asking you for some input and if we wanted to just avoid that, like we just spoke about on the last slide, you'd issue auto secure, no interact. Okay, and much like there's only one command to enable auto secure, there's really only one command to verify it, and that is the show auto secure config. And it is config, that's not short for configuration, that entire uh, command right there. So if you issue this on a router where auto secure was not configured, it'll show you like the second bit here where it says in red, auto secure is not configured. If you issue it on a router where auto configuration or I'm sorry auto secure has been configured it will show you what was configured at the time that auto secure was configured let me phrase it a little bit better it will show you the configuration commands that were implemented by, by auto secure it's truncated here but it's generally going to be quite the list we'll see this on the command line keep this in mind for real world that this does not show you how the router is actually configured at this time. So for instance, if you issue auto secure and uh, it, it issues the no CDP run command and you say, well, you know what? I do want CDP running on here. Let me go into uh, global configuration mode and issue CDP run. And then you go back later and do a show auto secure config. It's still going to show no CDP run because it's not showing the part of the configuration that was entered by auto secure it's showing you the list of commands that auto secure issued when it was uh, invoked hopefully that made sense um, maybe when in the CLI make a little more sense it's nothing I think you need to know for exam just for real world that uh, you might get conflicting output where you think oh well CDP is not running and then you find out that it actually is okay auto secure rollback I had to dig quite a bit to find um, information on this I was in the Cisco documentation and it kept mentioning stuff about you know auto secure rollback which to me sounded like you could issue the auto secure command um, it would implement all these changes to your running config then if you were like oh man I just made a big boo-boo that there was a rollback command and it even says here in manual mode the user simply issues the standard CLI rollback command and the rollback process will be initiated to me that meant that it would go ahead and take off any of the configuration that it had thrown on there for the um, auto secure feature doesn't seem like that's the uh, case and it seems like this is only supported on certain uh, devices again I had to dig to find this um, and I'll put this in the lesson note but basically it says here this feature will take a snapshot of the current running configuration stored in the ATA disk prior to execution of the auto secure command so if you have a device that has a um, flash uh, memory or a disk zero you know one of the module routers um, some of the bigger boys have this 
and the 2800s and the 3800s have it as well so then what it's going to do is it's going to you issue this command before it does anything it says well I'm going to make sure that you don't screw yourself completely I'll copy the running configuration to your flash drive which is great but it's something you should probably be doing on your own and it did mention earlier to go ahead and write your running configuration the problem with this is that like I said it says issues a standard CLI rollback now they might be uh, or they might be referencing an archive command or something like that I don't know just keep this in mind in the real world router 101 you make the you issue the auto secure command it configures your running configuration with the uh, commands it turns off whatever services that it deems necessary to shut off don't write your configuration don't do a copy run start right away go ahead and test some stuff out make sure that everything's working the way that you want it to and then if you're comfortable with that go ahead and write the configuration at that point then the running configuration will be copied to the startup configuration if you do find something is broken and you know you can't track it down or you don't want to go ahead and uh, try and step through backing out all these commands and like I said there's quite a few commands you can just go ahead and reload the router it'll come up in the uh, the startup configuration will be loaded into the running configuration and none of those changes will matter like I said just keep this in mind for if you're reading the documentation and you're like me you're like how do you how do you roll back this auto secure it doesn't seem like there is a way I will investigate this further on some other devices and say I'll update the uh, lesson notes with what I come up with okay well enough of this jibba jabba let's get on the CLI and see this guy in action